The Electra Jailbreak. All right, now before I get started here, let's talk about what the Electra Jailbreak is all about. So first off, this is a jailbreak meant for developers again, but not users. It's really meant for developers to test out their themes and jailbreak tweaks. This does not give you Cydia. So if you're waiting for Cydia, just go to wait some more until Sarik finalizes Cydia substrate and updates it for iOS 11 so that all your jailbreak tweaks will work and the Cydia will be put onto your device. Cydia is not updated yet for iOS 11. Once it is, a new jailbreak will be out. That'll put Cydia on your device. So just wait for that if that is really what you're looking for. Now what the Electra jailbreak does give you is anemone which is a theming tweak so you could test out your themes lib substitute preference loader ssh which is big you could be able to ssh onto your device and there's so many possibilities with that scp sftp and gnu command line utilities pre-installed so electra jailbreak comes with all of that and if you're impatient yes you can apply the electra jailbreak and later once the one with cydia is packaged you can apply that one too and get cydia on your device and lastly again this jailbreak only supports ios 11.0 through 11.1.2. If you're on iOS 11.2 or above, this jailbreak will not work, and yeah. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this on my iPhone 7, because although this does work on the iPhone 10, my iPhone 10 is on iOS 11.2.1, so it will not work on this device. This iPhone 7 is running iOS 11.0. So anyways, first things first, you want to go to plug your device into your computer and make sure that your computer does trust it and make sure that your device does show up inside of iTunes. All right, so we are on a computer. And by the way, once the Electra jailbreak IPA is signed by someone like Tweakbox or something like that, I'll put a link down below in the description to it. So you can just go download Tweakbox and install it from there. But anyways, right now you will need a computer. So our device is plugged in and make sure that it shows up inside iTunes. There is my iPhone 7, so I'm good to go. X out of iTunes, and now what we wanna do is open up our internet browser. There'll be two links down below inside the description. One is to City Impactor. Now, this supports basically every single computer out there, and Mac OS X, Windows, Linux. So anyways, you wanna download it for your computer, so I have Macs, Macs, <laughs> Mac OS X. So go and install City Impactor on your computer. That's what we're gonna be using to put the Electra jailbreak on our device. Now, I already have City Impactor installed, but what to do, you want to go and exit out of there and head over to this website. The link will be down below in the description. This is where we're going to be downloading the Electra jailbreak for our device. So again, for iOS 11 through 11.1.2. And down over here, you guys can see that it supports basically all these devices. And down over here, there's a download button. Don't click on that. I would recommend going down over here. And there is a GitHub link. So I would click on that GitHub link and... The download will start. Look how quick it is. Boom. Simple as that. Now, you guys can see that's this beta 2. So anyways, once you have downloaded this on your computer, it will look like this. So this is the IPA. This is beta 1. I'm probably going to replace it. So just drag and drop it to your desktop. All right. Cool. So now let's go to open up Cydia Impactor. On my Mac and Windows, basically whatever computer you're on, but the first time you go and open it up, you do want to right click on it. So right click and click on open. That's the way to open it. Don't open it by double clicking on it. Hit right click and hit open. So there you go. And once open, here it is. So pretty simple from here. All you want to do is drag the Electra Beta 2 jailbreak over here onto the Impactor and just drop it. And by the way, by the time you're watching this video, a new beta might be out. So use that one. It might be beta 3. And now what you have to do is type in your Apple ID, email, and password. So first, my Apple ID. And don't worry, this is perfectly safe. You can even use a different Apple ID, make, make a new Apple ID just for this if you want to. But now, let's enter the password and hit OK again. Now, if you do get an error, all you want to do is look for where it says CPP, copy this and paste into Google, and there will be a solution online. <laughs> so, all right, guys, the actual problem that I was having with my error was that it was thinking that my microphone was my device, I think. So when I unplugged my microphone from my computer, by the way, it's USB 2, and then replugged this back in, then it seemed to work, and now I have Electra on my device. So there it is right there. Now, the first time you open it up, before you do this, it will say Address to Enterprise Developer. So what we want to do first is open up the Settings application, then go down to General, and then scroll down until you find Profiles and Device Management. And all the way at the bottom, you will find your email or Apple ID that you used 
tap right there and then tap on trust and then a pop-up tap on trust again i already did that but anyways now we have the electra app and we can go ahead and open it up now once you open it up here's what it looks like and by the way you can unplug your device you don't need that anymore and now makes this toggle is enabled again 11.0 or 11.1.2 let's hit jailbreak and see what happens the anticipation starts and the suspense is getting bigger let's see what happens okay so, ah, oh, dang it, I can't redo it. It says Joe broke it, but before it said, please wait. I already tested this out, so I already have it. But it would say, please wait for some time. Then it would turn off your device, and the screen would go black. And this is where you be patient. All their screens black, it might not be fully off, so just keep waiting. You'll see a little loading icon after some time, and just gonna wait for that. And then you should be back at your lock screen, enter a passcode, and then you should have anemone on your device on your home screen right there. So again, now you just tap on this and now you have anemone. If you have any themes installed, they will show up here. You get a preview of what they would look like on your device and then apply them if you want to. Anemone is like Winterboard, but so much better. But anyways, as always, I love keeping you guys updated. And once a jailbreak is available that contains Cydia as well, then I'll make a new video. But yeah, again, you can also SSH into your device with this. And that is super cool too. Anyways, subscribe for your daily dose of THS, and as always, this is the Hack Spot. Peace out.